In June 2010, I went to Ethiopia and was able to visit hospitals that provided neonatal care. I found the care provided to newborns with medical problems were very suboptimal despite the efforts provided by the local Ethiopian professionals and Ministry of Health. During my visit, I saw newborns with different pathologies being managed on one bench with no warm blankets, diapers, or monitoring devices to check their heart rate, their breathing rate, or blood oxygen levels. There were no intravenous pumps and limited oxygen supply. My low moment was really when I saw this three days old newborn girl who just had a major abdominal surgery a few minutes back prior to my arrival to visit the unit. She was gasping and fighting for her life. She was not given any pain relief medication as there were none available to give her. And as she struggled to breathe, there was no ventilator support to aid her. The only oxygen source was the one she had to share with other newborns on the same bench. It was really heartbreaking to see this unfold and it was very difficult to walk away from it. So I said to myself, it's time to be involved. This is not fair. Something needs to be done. Our goal is to help decrease the high neonatal mortality rate in Ethiopia. We hope to do this by exchanging experiences and working closely with the local health professionals and health administration officials who are really currently engaged actively to decrease the neonatal mortality rate. We also want to be involved in the educational process with selected medical schools that have neonatology training programs. And our objective is we plan to arrange a year-round medical mission trips by a team of neonatal professionals to designated university teaching hospitals and provide clinical education both at the bedside and through the tutorials to the staff and medical students. The team traveling would consist of at least a neonatologist, a nurse, and a respiratory therapist. Well, few to mention, I was able to travel to Jumma University Hospital last year and provided didactic and bedside teachings. I also donated medical books and medical equipment. Hans has also reached out to medical colleagues, organizations, and health institutions in the U.S. and facilitate the donation of neonatal supplies and equipment, books and clothing. And through small fundraising events, we have managed to introduce HUNT and its mission to colleagues and friends. A lot. Uh, one, promote public awareness. Spread the news in any way possible. And we'll be very grateful if you could visit our website and like our Facebook page. Second, you can also help meet our cost. We plan to make at least five trips this year, and each trip will cost close to about $10,000. Also, we want you to be part of the ongoing fundraising drive. And then the third one is we you help, you can help by meeting our essential medical supplies by donating items within your reach or passing on our supply list to organizations that can donate needed items. Our 2013 medical supply list is on our, on our website. And finally, but more importantly, you could be a volunteer. We need all the help you can get. And please send us a message through our website and let us know if you are interested in volunteering.